It's time to jam. So on your way. So on your way. So on your way. Girl. What's the tea? So on your way. So on your way. I don't know why, but like I decided to shave in a mustache. Well, I like I, it. I think I think that's a good place to start. To start our show? Yeah. Hello. Welcome, children, hey. to So Auntie Ways. This is Shadam. And this is Miss Matinga. And this is Booby. So why don't we start with that mustache, Henry yeah. Cavill? Let's hear it. Well, you know, last night I we were talking, you and I, and I was like, oh, I'm going to spend the morning trying to look pretty. And I got mm. up at, you know, and I got up super early to, you know, try and see what we could do here. And it really, I applaud the effort. Thank you. Because <laughs> we were at it. Thanks, Plain Jane. Time. And also, oh, so mean that one. We'll, we could get into her. Yes. Uh, but yeah, but generally I'll go for a goatee or a beard or fresh face. I have, mm. I don't think I've ever left the house in a mustache ever in my whole life. But then today. Well, a mustache like, made of hair. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> I've, I've left it with a chocolate milk mustache. And uh -huh. mustache oh, is that, that what we're off. calling it? Mm. Yes. It's but, uh, chocolate. But today, what I look at uh -huh. my and who was the boss of Lucille Ball all the time? Oh, oh yes. Gail uh, Gordon. Gail Gordon. I'm totally right. giving Gail Gordon. Right. I'm totally giving Gail Gordon. Down. I, I feel kind and of And a little bit of Mr. Spacely from the Jetsons. Yes. I, I think the I think the uh, mustache <laughs> ages me just a hair. And a little bit I, of what's his face from Arrested Development. Um Tobias. Yes. But yes. I feel sexy. Never watch it. I, I feel sexy. So, yeah. I love it. I shaved in a mustache today, and I think I'm going to be rocking yeah. a mustache. Just the one, days. dear. Well, there is, I do have my, you know, my Gaza strip. Yeah, you've got, darling. <laughs> please, well, let's just call you the Shavan Maven. The Shavan Maven. Yes, yes. yes. So, Booby, how so have you was, been? So that was my, my little non sequitur to start today. So I, it's um, perfect. I love it. Absolutely perfect. Miss Booby, what's popping? What's with the yellow hat? Um, nothing really. I, you know, I, I have a, another knit hat that I've been wearing lately, but it would, doesn't allow me to hear y'all bitches when I put my, on my headphones. So a knit is... hat? A knit, knit wit? What? what? Is it a <laughs> Miss Bo Miss Hamps Harrods hamster? Uh, oh, hamper, hamper. <laughs> Harrods hamper, darling, hamper. <laughs> uh, Miss Boo, I love your, I love your cap. You are a, you are that rare, true hat person. You are an actual. You are a hat guy. I don't yeah. go leave the house without a without a hat, gloves, and purse, darling. And you right, own darling. And you have tons, tons and tons of of different types of hats, but I, but you love hats like that, Down. and and kind of like the Kango. Kango, yeah, yeah. The kind of hat they look. Yo, so Miss Booby, Miss Booby got a hat collection. Booby, do you remember last was it last year? I came to visit, and yeah. Bob and I went to Ebor City. Yes, and we and found I found, we. I've been there several times now. Bought more hats. There were like hats, hats, hats for days, days, hundreds days. of the styles of hats. It's a it's a a vintage store, a like clothing very, store, very Cubano. Oh, she froze. Well, who froze? Oh, she froze. Or maybe she's freeze. just posing. I told, can you hear me, guys? Ma Ms. I can hear you, but but you ain't moving. No, I can see it even on my own screen. I'm frozen. It's well, you so know what, bizarre. you know what, Matenga, you just shake it off, honey. Shake it you off. See, there, there you, you go. go. Oh, she shook it off. Yes, yes. Interesting. I before the power I of Taylor me, Swift, me Myrna. Hunty Mid Swift, like honey, what? You the antihero. You're the problem. It's you. So let's. You ain't Kid Rock. You twit, Twilla Twift. You you Twilla you Twilla Dwayne. You Swift twat. Swift twat. I could always use the oh, Swift what a name. Name. Great drag name. Honey. Oh, I came up with a drag name yesterday. What? But it's for a drag queen that's definitely past her peak. Her name is Passe Labelle. Passe Labelle. Passe and La Belle. Best friend, Swifty Twat. Twifty Twat. Yeah. And Twil and Twila Dwayne. And after she dies, she passed away. <laughs> Okay, so listen, on that note, before we yeah. dive into the, the meat of So Auntie Ways, yes. I want to say, I think both of you guys look really good. You guys Thank look you. really, really good. Anthony, mm -hmm. I think the mustache is cute. I love the little Linda Ronset in her Mexican face. Yes, shirt. yes, feeding her, her, her culture. Yeah, you look oh, fantastic. You. Booby, you thank look you. wonderful. Amazon. Thank you. The, the yellow hat's a great color. The yeah. Death Star shirt, it's a okay. choice. Always a choice. So, yeah. So, anyway, let's kick off this episode. And you look so, right. 
Uh, I, I was gonna be like, oh, and then we're just <laughs> anything about Miss Ch- about Miss Trinity. Fish bowl. No, listen, listen. The, the fishbowl grew, by the way. Oh, the so this this bio orb I got from Miss Francis Leger, aka Mangela Transberry. Work. And he had been growing fish in it, and so honey, I went all the way to Jersey City to get this bitch and drag her back on the bath train. And the, oh, that's the, the, what you were talking about. Is this, is there water in there? No, no. Oh no, so it's a bio. I, I cleaned it out and I okay. put my my special soil blend and all my little terrarium plants and Florida orange springtails and bumblebee millipedes because that's how I do. I'm a single dad trying to raise my cat and have fun. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, fun. Oh, yeah. And have some fun. Yeah, but oh. wait, check it, bitch. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. It has remote control. Don't don't stop my roll, booby. And it does this thing where it like it changes color. Oh, oh ooh, yeah, it's green. nighttime now. It's crazy. And now it's daytime again. Anyway, oh. quick quick question. Yes. Um. So I I I read that Francis just moved over to Jersey. Yeah. And he just moved to Jersey. And is it nice? So you saw the place. Is it cute? I did. I will say. Um. Francis Lovely. and Tracy have what's called the Shortbread Society. We'll link to right. it in the description. Ah, the most amazing fucking shortbread I've ever had in my life. Like, wow. like food absolutely. substances, food absolutely. stuff. It's it's one of those food things. It's really good. Yeah, it's but, a confection. It's a, like a pastry. I think the so the one they gave me. I think it has like two sticks of butter in it. I it was, I, 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 you, and you know me. I'm very health conscious, yeah. okay? And I try to watch what I eat. And I watch myself eat that goddamn thing that was 10,000 calories in one day. Wow. But I want to say their apartment yeah. is off the chain. It's a ah, huge, God. beautiful rooftop thing in Jersey City. I mean, Jersey City. But it's lovely. Ah, it's sh- lovely. And Francis was kind enough to give me this. And, Luscious. and of course, his wife, Tracy, is lovely as ever. I like her much more than I like him. Oh. But let's get into the segments, shall we? Francis is a man, by the way. Francis, Francis is a man. For the I most mean, part, yeah. Ostensibly, <laughs> yeah. For the most part, yeah. I do Let's go with that. Your yeah. um, your uh, um, blonde is starting to grow out, so you're getting the black roots, and yeah. it's so fucking punk rock. Thank you. I like it. Thank, Thank you. I like it. Yeah. Very go go. Strangely, it yeah. looks kind of masculine. Oddly. Kinda. Excuse me. With, Excuse with, me. With the with the roots coming in. With the wait roots. A, wait a minute, girl. I'm a dude, girl. Okay. A girl. dude girl? No, I mean, I'm a dude girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude girl, our new Star Trek honey, pod. Dude girls. Honey, I'm butch, honey. I don't know what you're trying to trying to feel for yourself, but, girl. Honey, you're no Mary Warnoff. We're going to get to it. Can we please just get into the episodes? We're on the yes, clock here. bring it. Bring All it. All right, so we're going to start with what are we featuring? And since, That's Booby, right. you've got a lot of piss and vinegar today, why don't you start, honey? Okay. Yeah, I've been thinking about it for the past 48 hours and it's going to sound cheesy. So bear with me. Mm-hmm. What I'm featuring is lifelong friends. Uh, yeah. yeah. You two, yeah. a real gift. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm featuring. You know, okay. I, I get, I always get sentimental every couple of weeks and, or I'm clearing some sort of blockage in some my sort mind. Of blockage, darling. Yes. Some sort of blockage. And I, I am in shock. In shock. I can't express to Bob or to my friends in quote unquote friends anyway, but the, as close as I can get to friends mm-hmm. in St. Petersburg of our friendship, how long it's been, what we have been through and lived through. It's 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 kind of like my the people that I know here who are were born in two thousand. Yes. Okay. And grown Think that I'm exaggerating when yes. I when I share stories of our everyday lives. 30 mm-hmm. years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've so been it, 30 more years than they are. Yeah. I'm gagging. I'm gagging yeah. at, not gagging in a bad way, just gagging. You know, when I think about, you know, so how, who, I mean, without getting too morbid, just how many people we've lost and how many different chapters in my life I have been through. And yet you yes. guys have been the constant. So, yeah. you know, it's kind yeah. of like, yes, blessed. Yes. Lucky. You know, I, I, I sometimes get complacent knowing that I can always call my two best friends. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. And there are so many people from our generation who can't call their two best friends anymore because they're not around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm very, very for, uh, grateful. And I think that's probably the best thing about my life is you guys. So that's what I got. Okay, that was lovely, actually. And but we are really blessed, and we are, uh, and we should be grateful because, uh, uh, you know, when I came out, the whole world was on fire. Oh, strangely, the whole world is still on fire. Now still on, on fire. fire. Yeah. 
and uh, you know, we lost a generation of gay guys. You know, it came out in the you know in the mid '80s. And, uh, you know, there's a, I bet you, in fact, I know for a fact that there's a lot of lonely, older gay guys out there. Of like course. Stage type guys that like their social network died. It's not like they didn't make friends. It's not like they were also, they just, everyone they know passed away because we have each other, but we've lost so many people. Right. So I think it is important that um, when, many, many years ago, I was having a talk with my mom and she just said, and she said to me, you know what I was afraid of? I didn't care that you were going to be gay. It, that's not, I was afraid that you were going to be ostracized, abused, or lonely. Hmm. And I was like, well. And that's why we're here. <laughs> and that's why, you know, and I was like, well, yes, all of that happened, mom. But there are three uh, drag names, ostracized. <laughs> there was just one weekend in, in the late 90s. And that, but that's the thing. Like, I found a family in gay culture. I found my best friends. I found a reason to be. I found my art form and all the things I love. And so, yeah, I, I dig it. I, I love that, boo. I, 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 you know, I think we really do need to covet this. Mm -hmm. Covet sure. this coven. But your hot, your eyes always this coven exactly. But your eyes always glaze those. You're like, yeah, I love you. Me? Girl. Oh, these bitches. You, Me? yeah. You like, love, oh, love, schmuv. I, I am a very time. sentimental person. I view it through this lens, you know, we're lucky to still have, and not just you two, although you two are my closest friends, people that still get the joke. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like people that still get, not just get the joke in a, in a broad sense, but like get the jokes that we tell over and over. Cause some of them, like you kind of had to be the, like officer Sal, like right. this kind of, you know, like this kind of shit. So yeah. yeah, we're lucky. And I'm lucky that like, I met you guys when you guys were teenagers, I was only six. But you took yeah, yeah. me, you took me Talk under your eyes, dusty, classical. musty wings took you and out to the club, took you to showed me the way. And now as I approach 40, all right, 42, let's be honest. I appreciate let's you. Be honest. I appreciate I will say this, like, you know, I don't want to get into my whole personal life and shit on camera, but my boss, who I, I just, I'm so fond of, and he's so wonderful, really, probably like the nicest person I've ever worked with. He was born at the tail end of 1999. By the tail end of 1999, I'd been like arrested four times and had yeah. probably had three <laughs> diseases not yet known to man. Right. So good times, good times, good times, <laughs> good times. Good times. Ma Blows me away. Matango, what are you featuring this week? Tell us. Bring it. Bring it. Well, I am featuring. It, you actually said a second ago that I should be featuring this mustache, and I am. I am featuring this mustache, but. Uh, what I am featuring, everybody, uh, is this song, uh, is my favorite song this week. It makes me, uh, it, it's it's called Everybody. It's on Pink Friday Part 2. Everybody, it's Nikki everybody. I know, Nikki, and she's having this whole thing with Megan. This Who is sings it? Honey, I'm ups and downs. Team Megan all the way. Fuck Nikki oh, team, Minaj. She's team, trash. Team she team always way. has been trash. I have never yeah. liked her. Go ahead. And also, it's like, it's like, girl, like, why are you coming from Megan the Stallion so hard when, like, you're at the top? It's like, in a way, it almost seems kind of like desperate. It's like, Nicki I have a Minaj job ain't so nobody. Let me, let me start this beef so that we can, like, everyone's talking about this beef. But, but that's a whole separate thing. I also live for Megan and that new song that Megan has with uh, that girl uh, rap from um, uh, Mean Girls. What's her uh -huh. full name? <laughs> just belch on camera i'm so sorry <laughs> uh and she plays she plays like the meanest mean girl oh it's renee rap renee, renee. Stallion. yeah uh, great song but i gotta tell you like pink friday it's uh, uh pink friday 2 the song called everybody that song is hot so that's what i'm featuring this week okay great listen i would um include a snippet of that song you know and, and cut it in a way to avoid copyright issues but i don't like Nicki minaj so i'm yeah, not yeah. going to do that so if you in the audience want to sample whatever this tired old HEPA has to offer, do that on your own time because I'm team Megan all the way. Okay. Hello. Okay. Yes. okay. The diss tracks are flying. Yeah, not to not to not to discount. Flying. Not to discount what you're yeah. saying, girl. People talking about people's dead mother. Yeah. What? That's not cute. Very ugly. Do you know what Megan ugly. Italian song I like? This what um uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, bad bitches have bad days too. I love that <laughs> Saturday, song. Saturday love. Saturday, it's just cute. It's a bop. It's a yeah. bop. And in the interim, since we recorded last, I also have been enjoying a song by Moonwalker. Is it Moonwalker? Called Lizzo. And there's a line where he goes, Pussy talk back like Alexa. Pussy talk back like Alexa. And I just think it's so funny. 
and I'll put a sample of that in. Yeah. And there's there's also a song called Billie Eilish. Do you remember heard that heard that song mm-hmm. that Billie no. Eilish song? But it's not by Billie Eilish. It's just about or about her, or is it about, about her? Her, about okay. her? But it's not by her. Okay. And it's I don't I don't know it. You know, listen, I'm on the older yeah. side of Gen Z. Yeah. So some of it does. Get, so some of it does get <laughs> past me. On the older side of grade Z. Yeah. Anyway, so what I'm featuring this week, and I'm I'm going to be completely honest with you, my list of what I'm not featuring is so much longer than what oh. I'm featuring because I have oh. had just a bitch of a week. Oh. I'm just going to make something up. Okay. And say, which is true though, yeah. I went to Plantorama this week at Brooklyn Botanic Garden. Yes. And uh, it was super fun. This is my second plant expo in the space of two weeks. Uh, you know, I went to TPIE in Florida. Hello, hashtag Travel Queen. Uh, but I went to plant to TPIE Tropical Plant International Expo. Was that yeah. fun? It was really fun. And I saw Luannikin. Oh no. yes, I did. I saw Luannikin. She came with oh. her crew from Naples Botanic Garden and gave me a Monstera elbow cutting, and that was nice. Um, Work. So I went to plant a rama. Is that what they're calling it nowadays? That's what they're calling it nowadays, darling. We're calling it elbow, sweetie. Mm-hmm. Um oh booby, I forgot. Happy Black History Month, darling. Thank yes, you. Yes, Thank I celebrate. You. I acknowledge. I just want yeah. to, you know, I don't want to ignore you. Right. But right, so I right. went to Plantorama. It was really fun. Met some planty people. Saw some cool plants, and uh, got paid in the bargain. So it was all good. Did you do anything like on the side? Anything fun? Go out, have dinner. Uh, well, Sell the moose thing. Well, here's the thing. Yeah. My my team, um, and uh, associated colleagues went out for drinks after. Ah. But I did not go because that right. was. One of the nights I went to the emergency room, which was going to be on my list of things oh. I'm not featuring, but I won't get into it. I was in too much pain. Right. So you actually had to go to the emergency room down in Florida. No, no, no. This was in New York. Okay. And uh, I went last week and then I went the night of Plantarama and I left because the waiting room was too packed and I can't wait that long. And then I went back the next morning. I was like leaning on buildings as I went because I couldn't walk. It's a whole thing. You know, listen, when you hit your early 40s, Shit starts to fall apart, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. When your early forties hits you so hard, you look like you're in your early sixties. Okay, so what? Oh. oh yeah, ouch, girl, with that mustache, honey. But I'm bump. But I'm bump. So, do you want to move on to what we're not feeling, or do we want to talk about guys we think are hot? Oh, sugar. Oh, sugar. Okay, let's talk about guys we think are hot. Booby, okay. that'll give you two minutes to think of someone. Well. Matenka, you want to start this madness? Wait, but I'm going to have to bring up his picture, right? Okay, I'll start. So the other week, despite my immense pain, physical and spiritual, I went to a Broadway show called... Oh, hang on, I dropped the playbill. Ow, God damn it, help me, Jesus, God, Christ. Oh, Santa Maria, Madre de Dios. Oh. I went to see the show called Appropriate with Sarah Paulson and and Elle Fanning. Oh, I didn't tell you? No, I love that. Girl. I love it was, that. It was really, really good. It was at the Whatever Happened to Helen Hayes Theater in Midtown. And um, Sarah Paulson was great. Elle Fanning was great. Um, sitting beside us was Carrie Coon, who plays Bertha Russell on The Gilded Age. Oh, and, Miss, Miss, Miss Carrie Coon. And her husband, uh, Tracy Lex, the playwright and actor and yes. author. And it was also Carrie Coon's did... birthday, so it was wonderful. Oh, my gosh. How did, super... How did she? How did you know it was her birthday? We oh so Roger started talking to her and somehow it came up that it was her birthday but I didn't hear that part of the conversation so everyone just kept saying like happy birthday back and forth to each other because Roger had brought me as a birthday gift for, a belated birthday gift for me and I just kept smiling like a jackass I didn't know what the conversation was like happy birthday I didn't know what was happening but the play was great and one of the actors named Corey Stoll Corey Stoll I'll bring up his picture because yo. Stoll. He was Yo. in um he was in um that Quant- vampire thing. He was in Quantum Quantumania. Uh, yeah. He was in Quantumania. Yeah, he, he played plays he, Drax. Or, or, no, he doesn't play Drax. He plays He plays uh, somebody called Yellow Jacket. Or something. No, right? he, he doesn't play Yellow. He plays somebody else. He, I think he played like 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 Modar or Well, I didn't see Quantumania. Let me see how I can share a screen. Remember, kids, it's been a minute. Uh Modar. Modoc, that's who he played. He played Modoc. Oh, well, yes. He was also in The Strain. He played the doctor in The well, Strain. Well, I'll say the it looked thing, like... The he was the star of The Strain. It looked like he had Mo Dick from the angle I was looking at. Shit. 
Okay, can you see this? What's popping up here? Oh, yes. Do you see a man on He's screen? He's so cute. Him. Yeah. Bitch, he was fine. Wonderful actor. And I hate to just objectify someone because of the physical attributes, but he was tall. He was serving you that big old ass, honey. Yeah. And he was giving you big dick energy shit. And I thought it was appropriate. Yeah. He was fine. So that is my hot guy of the week or bi-weekly, whatever. Corey Stoll, the actor. Also, at one point, he's um, on stage laying out on a couch. You know, it's a set, set in someone's home. And he had bare feet. And I said, somebody with a foot fetish is going to be so into this moment of the play. Oh, yes. Like, and I don't have a thing for feet, but I was like, like honey, lick, 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 lick. Okay. Anyway, okay. Matinga, who you feeling? Bring it, mama. Okay, so my guy that mm. I think is super cute. Uh, let me see. Hold on a second here. I just have him here in my thumbnails. Let me just uh -huh. come to you. Uh huh. Yeah, I could splice all this dead air out. Uh, please, please. Or just, or just make you, you look foolish. You could. You I could. could. Yeah. Could That's cute. Um, That's cute. Yeah. Uh, okay. How, how do you even screen share, bro? I'm so on the bottom it says share screen. Okay, it Booby, was... you know how to share screen, but you haven't thought of a topic. Oh, have I you? have. I have a. a okay, you bring it up while Anthony figures. I mean, while Matinga figures it out. Well, I'm sorry to use your Christmas. It says host disabled participant screen share. Oh, I don't want to disable you, bitches. Hold don't up. Don't disable. Okay. The guy's name is Nick. Hulos. I'm a fr I, I follow him on Instagram and he loves, absolutely loves Disney. He loves uh, Disney. Well, that's a yes, boner. Disney killer. World. So he's always showing videos of him in Disney. But I mean, he is like six five, six three hundred pounds of solid pounds. muscle. Muscle. I'm I mean I'm exaggerating, but not by much. Hang Just a, a handsome specimen of a man. Well, he sounds wonderful. I wish I could pull up this goddamn picture. I will say, while I wait for this to load. The fact that he's into Disney, that kills it for me. Because I oh, like I'm sorry to hear no, that. Listen, I like adults, honey. I don't That's have time for this. Oh, there he is. Hang on, I'm gonna pull it up. That ain't him. That's my. Sorry, that's my guy. I was. Oh, to be while you were talking, I'm sorry. I'm all confused. Wait a minute, uh, Matenga, get rid of your guy for a second. Yes. Okay, get rid of your guy, and we'll bring up Booby's piece. Do I don't know. Can you guys see Booby's piece now? No. I can't see Wait, it. Wait, Matinga's got to stop sharing hers. Matinga, okay. stop sharing. You're oversharing. I'm oversharing, and now I don't know how to... How to Matinga, people here. come here for high-quality content. We are failing on every level. Indeed we are. Indeed we are. Uh, hold on, hold on. I'll, t I'll tell oh you how to God stop sake. sharing. Yes. <laughs> I think maybe a two-year hiatus wasn't long enough. How do you stop sharing? Oh, view options. Oh, view Jesus options. Crap. I can't, I can't even the side. In the meantime, why don't I sing? People... People, people who need people. people. They're the stupidest people in the world. All right. Did you guys figure it out? Did I did I leave? Did I stop sharing? Okay. I know. Okay, I'm just gonna Oh shit. I think Matinga actually disconnected herself. Oh shit. Is she gone? Or am I tripping? Yep. All right, well, gone. well Booby can But we that's see Nick Pulos. That we can see your muscle man, right? <laughs> yep. He looks meaty and like his pit stink. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. He's real hot. So this is a whole Tumblr about him. Yeah. Um, let's see. Can There's some still, great pictures. Can you still, oh my God, look at his pecs. That's crazy. I mean, he's a little bristly crazy. for my taste. That's not to... him. These are people, these not are him? not him. Who's no, this? none of these. Only the first one pictures him. Okay, let's be honest, honey. At a certain point, they're all the same person. Yeah, well. How do I stop sharing? Stop staring. Okay. Did I stop sharing? And when we... I don't know. I don't know. Booby, you froze. What's happening oh, no. here? Oh, I don't know. Oh, wait, there she is. She's back. Yeah. All right, hang on. Um, so he's very, very sexy. He looked a little bristly. I have sensitive skin. I don't know if I Oof. can handle it. Although a man with a beard, if he's going downtown, I can get with it. You know what I'm saying? For real. Or even a man with a mustache. A man with but, a mustache. I think he's muted. I thought you said a man. Oh, she's muted. Hang on. Oh, how did I? Wait. Ask to unmute. I'm asking her to unmute. Ah, you know what we need? We need a live. We need well, we need lives, yes, but we need a production <laughs> assistant because I can't do it. Maybe one of these young kids in the audience. Oh shit! I just muted her. Ooh. Oh, but she. Oh, I don't know I'm what happened. Well, yeah. have we? Have we? Can, had we, can you hear us, Matinga? I can hear you. Yes. I don't I, see you. I don't see you, don't, bitch. Ain't no, nobody ever know. seen you. I don't know where. Uh, how to okay, get so go down to the bottom where it says <laughs> stop video. There you there go. There you are. Oh, there. 
Hey, your Myrna. Mustache. Hey, listen, Myrna. Listen, it's called so auntie. Yeah, uh, hey. we're acting like oh, we're we're acting like aunties. Just so, you know, give it six months. Yeah. Matenga, let's talk about your cutie pie name stats. So t- this morning, there's so many little TikTokers and Instagrammers and you know little gay bait out there that you could mm-hmm. say you know is cute. But mm-hmm. I was like, who is uh you know someone who's like just hot for the ages? So my hottie, and you can splice him in later, is uh the famous swashbuckler from the 30s and 40s, Errol Flynn. Yes, Famous, Errol Flynn, famously bisexual as well, and so handsome. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, and apparently a big whore because that's where the expression in like Flynn comes from. Really? Yeah. Ooh, Errol, yeah. Errol Flynn, big whore. Hey. Alky. Alcoholic. We were, we were born in the wrong era, weren't we? We were definitely born at the wrong time. Like, I wish I was born like five years earlier because I would love to have attended um, uh, Paradise, uh, Gar- Paradise Garage in Studio 54. Yeah. My cousins I mean, went to Studio 54 and would come back home. And they were like not much older than me. I was like 12. But Booby, if, if that had happened, then you wouldn't have been in peak form for Roxy and Sound Factory. So, yes, and I probably wouldn't be alive today. We're all born at the time we're supposed to be. Thank you. Guys, you. you guys were born in 1970. I came into the earth in 1986. We're all born at the time we are supposed to be. Okay. Mm-hmm. The God of Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. <laughs> Right? I mean, right, oh, sh- Shalom to that. Okay, so. Oh, shalom, Harvey girl. Shalom, yeah, Harvey girl. I, I agree. I agree. Oh, wait, agree. Matenga, wait. Although I must say that when we were in the club scene, um, the garage was still around. Um, and yeah. the uh, and when we were in the club scene, uh, the um, the Saint was still around. Because I, yeah. I used to go to the Saint. Uh, oh, I did too. I used to go to the Saint teenage night as well as the gay night. Yeah. I used to take my two uh, uh, fierce girlfriends from 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 high school to their to the Saint Teen Night. So some of the hot clubs are still around. Like, uh, did y'all ever go to the I, Choice? No, but I went to the World. Ab, I went to the World. World Tracks, Robots, Japan, oh, Red Zone, Red Zone, Red Zone. Girl. What was Yo, the, the, the sex world. club right in the same block as the Red Zone? It was a little bit down. It was a sex Not club. Yet. No, Red, Red Zone was on like 54th or something. Yeah, there was a sex club right down the block from. Really? Red... Yes. No. Uh, uh, an not... S&M club. Really? And really? Yes. Oh my God. And I, I will find out the name of it. Trust me. Okay. Well, while you do that, that actually brings us quite naturally into the segment of what we are not featuring. Because what I am not featuring is the yes. continuing moral decay of our culture. And I'm going to give you some examples, darling. Okay. Now, you know me. I've been with a handful of men in my time. <laughs> always selectively. What the hell are you laughing at? Oh, I'm selectively, sorry. always with discretion. Okay. I don't just put it out there like a can of tuna for some stray cats like Matenga does. No. <laughs> I'm very selective. But let me just share with you some things that have come to my attention that I find quite upsetting. For instance, you should now be seeing something called Weed and Breed at the Bedwick Den of Semen. Look, Ooh, goodness. I am saying if there isn't a real true soul connection, what are you even doing? Do you know what I'm saying? Well, but first of all, we missed it, by the way, because it was it was we did miss it. It was last week. Yeah. Yeah. We totally Aww. missed it. Which sucks. But yeah. where is Bedwick? Well, what they mean is the border of Bushwick and Bed Stuy, Bedwick. The Bedwick uh, Den of Semen. And then I guess if you're going to participate, you can you, they'll email you the details or something. I'm sure it's and, a private mailing list. Right. Yeah. You, right. I guess you you smoke and suck. Yes. Weed. Well, suck. No, breed means you're dumping a load oh, of potential babies in someone. Cock and crack at the same time. Yeah. Smoke and crack at the same or time. Or you, you could do like coke and stroke or like dope and nope you, or whatever, you know. All I'm saying is the continued moral decay of our culture is quite disturbing to me. And I'll give you another example if you guys can handle it. It says, fuck clothes, go naked. Because it has a Q in it, naked. Which just says to me, highly unattractive body forms. So listen, have your fun, do your thing. But whatever happened to morals and self-respect? Sweetie, you have no morals. 
I shall give you one more example before I get off my high horse. Because quite frankly, even discussing it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Ah. But you All used right. to be such a whore. You used to be I so was never fun. a whore, darling. I was friendly. All right. Now, this one is called friendly whore. Scum Brooklyn. Look ah. at that. Can what is the name it? of it? Scum? Scum. Look at Miss Booby trying to look it up for next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, terrible, terrible. Scum. I blame what? What? A piece of scum? I blame social media. What? A piece of scum? I mean, <laughs> oh, Lord. How many forms of chimpanzee pox do we need? I don't even get in a quad in front of my cat. I don't want to scare her. I say, let's get back to dignity. Doesn't anyone wear a hat anymore? So check it out. Anthony uh, Matinga, I do love your background. I love the collectibles. Oh, I you. also see right behind your head a little picture of Charlie's Angels. Foreshadowing? Yes. And yeah. that brings that us to a new segment we are introducing called Angel Dusted. Slash Women in Chains. Well, okay, so here's the thing. It's a double premiere because it's our new segment called, is, is, or is it a double sachet? It's our new segment we'll called Angel Dusted, where we're going to talk about select episodes of Charlie's Angels and also introducing our new segment, Shanked. All about, well, to be indelicate, bitches behind bars. One little tidbit about Charlie's Angels, which was a, a, a television show I loved. Uh, Farrah, only on that first season. People don't realize yes. she's only on the first season. That's it. And then the, she up a little bit later as a guest star, but she's only a, re a series regular on that first season. Well, because she skyrocketed. To I mean, that poster was ubiquitous. Everybody had the Farrah Fawcett poster. Yes. You know, um, so yes. let's give an overview of the episode. Oh, let's give an overview of Charlie's Angels. We're assuming that everybody knows what that is. What's Charlie's Angels? I wasn't born then. Oh, Booby, also, you said you'd never seen Charlie's Angels, right? Never. Isn't that never. insane? Other, I mean, the movies. The movies. So you kind of understand what the premise is, but you don't yeah. you don't know these three particular. I don't, I don't know the characters as well as y'all two that were born and around them maybe it's maybelline <laughs> okay <laughs> maybe. so so um charlie's angels the so charlie and charlie's angels is charles townsend he owns a detective agency in los angeles his angels are these three women detectives former police officers i think all of them former police yes. officers yes. you have kate jackson as sabrina duncan farrah fawcett as jill monroe yes. and you have jacqueline smith as kelly garrett the gorgeous, beautiful Jack, who's the who was the original uh, angel and the only one to last the all seven seasons. Yeah, and she's also a very interesting character when you when you start to think about it. So, yeah, you never see Charlie. He only talks to them through the intercom system, which is kind of weird. And they also have Bosley, played by David Doyle, who's kind yes. of is he like the manager? What is he? He's the handler. The the the, the mascot, the handler. court jester. The handler. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So and that, attempts to. That, that Charlie is John Forsyth, and he was paid four million a year. The what? voice of the voice just of be, just to be the voice of Incredible. Charlie. And there's and always these the shots hits. of him from behind, like maybe his arm, but like with some really yeah. hot, sassy young lady in view. But they never showed was it face. really him? No. Those shots was, of him. It, Those no. Were John Forsyth's voice, but it's a stand-in. Yeah. Right? Uh, because John Forsyth was a little bit older at the time. Right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but he he what a killer deal that man made just mm. for voiceover. And yeah. he also did the voices in the movies. He did. Did he? Amazing. He was still all around. I yeah. only vaguely remember the movies, but let's get into the episode. So, as in every episode, it kicks off with the ladies getting their assignment. In this case, a young woman comes to visit the agency. Well, actually, no. We saw a woman oh. running. Yeah, okay, yes. go ahead, Bobby. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go. There's a lady, like, running, and she got, like, an inmate uh, outfit yes. um, in the country, like, you know, in Hicksville. And yes. 
she's being chased by she, a sh, you know um i don't want to say sheriff but i guess he is a sheriff yeah, and yeah, it turns out to be sheriff. the sheriff and Prison some guards. some police looking chat children uh with a dog and they be chasing her and then she jump into a bush to like throw them off like the dogs can't smell the bitch in a bush and then <laughs> they come up to her and she like no no i can is it people watching this can they see me doing this oh no no or yeah. they just hear me oh okay they no, can see me. girl but she's in the um, bush no, shocked no. it i don't want to startle you booby we can see you no not y'all bitches but the you know, our fans. Okay, sure. I'll make sure that they see you going, no, no. No, no. Well, so, so anyway, they shoot her. Right. <laughs> well, and it's that's a, how it's it implied. Starts. It's implied because because <laughs> the villain played by, can I mention his name, the actor? Sure. Yeah. His name yeah. is Anthony James. And he has, he's, he's the quintessential villain. He's been in so many B movies. But and Buck Rogers, the hills have Buck eyes. Rogers. So many Wait, was he somebody was evil he or a villain? The skinny, the skinny police oh, so officer not, with the not, rifle. Not the fat sheriff. It's the no, inbred, the, the fat, inbred no, the, looking The skinny dude. one with the with the great cheekbones. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh brick. And he looked look like, yeah, look like quite dangerous. And then the scene moves to so, the but it's, agency. It's, a, it's implied that she's shot, but maybe right. not because of, she goes, no, no. And then it cuts away to a truck and the agency and all this kind of stuff. Right. right. We, we cut to the towns and agency where. Um, a, a Christine Hunter, uh, who is played the, by. He's, who played by Lauren Tews, Dang. who mm -hmm. played uh, the cruise director Vicky, Vicky. on the Love Boat, on the yep. Love Boat, yeah, yeah. young, yeah. probably a little bit before she got that gig, maybe, yeah. yes, for right. sure, for sure, yeah. And I was like, work, Miss yeah, Lauren baby Tews. fat, uh, mm -hmm. Miss uh, Miss Cokehead Lauren Tews, who actually talk was, about should have been in prison. Always, always liked her i always liked her and she is the older sister of the girl who we from the previous scene whose name turns out to be elizabeth and she's right. contracting the bitch in the bush the bitch in the bush <laughs> she's like honey with the worst two bitches in a bush yeah uh, so she's contracted the towns and agency to help Ooh, we could put that on a shirt a bitch in the hand is worth two in the bush two bitches thank in the you bush. Oh, speaking of merch, I am That's wearing funny. one of our merch. This is RuPaul, iconic, available uh, on our Redbubble store. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I go ahead. That, I, mm -hmm. I love that. And so um, the they devise a plan. Now, listen, the Angels, they are private detectives. They're, they weren't just, yeah, the show was TNA, but like these were, were highly trained pros. Like, mm -hmm. like in, in terms of the show, I mean, within the logic of the show, these bitches know what they're doing. Yes. And so uh, they decide to infiltrate the prison. They have one guard that is trustworthy and they decide to infiltrate this prison. I just want to say this. Deputy episode, Dan. Deputy Dan. Who was kind of cute. Kind yeah. Of, kind of. But I want to say like, and I don't say this lightly, this fucking episode of Charlie's Angels is iconic. Mm -hmm. It is. It's fucking iconic. Now. Could I used could I have used a little bit more overt lesbian lesbianism, a little bit more overt violence? We have to remember it's like 1976. It's TV. Right. A little bit because you know there there's one female prison guard that you know is kind of looking that looking at them suspiciously, but she she can't take it as far as she wants to. Uh, but there's a scene where all <laughs> yes. the where all the angels are like running through the swamp. They're chained together in their prison garb, and just that image is so. Iconic. iconic it is they actually recreated for the iconic. movie yeah and they look just fucking gorgeous and i think that they turn in um not you know they're I, none of them are bad i think that the they think they turn in services serviceable to decent performances particularly kate kate's actually a good actress yes um so that's it they're going to infiltrate this prison and we pick up the story in the next to season. find out what happened to the bitch in the bush and right so so they they intentionally get uh, pulled over in this parish in Louisiana for speeding and and Farrah Fawcett's supposed to be a hitchhiker and the fat sheriff plants drugs on them in the yes. car. So pills swoop, and weed. Yes. Pill, yeah. Going to a hot and pills party, ladies. And but didn't a part of you or maybe not, maybe it's just me. Didn't like a little part of you kind of want to blow the fat, fat sheriff? Well, no, no, but like that's you have forty five minutes to tell this tale, so I get it. But wasn't there a little part of you that they basically he stops them, 
for a bullshit reason and all three of them get arrested for hitchhiking and, and implanted drugs you never see them talk to a lawyer you never see a courtroom you never see they go straight from there sure. to a courtroom and like like there was a little part of me that goes wait a minute what happened hey. between the sheriff stopping them and now suddenly uh kate jackson's getting deloused like, well because I, like, I needed a second in a courtroom no right. well be, be, honey We're, they're not offered lawyers. This is America. Sweetheart. Like, sweetheart. It's, it's Louisiana. Make, it's Louisiana. <laughs> yeah, but like there's something called narrative logic. No, honey. Right? They it's was they was trying to make a Louisiana purchase, honey. They're and in that's the lawyers. The that's the thing. So there was yeah. moments. I don't want to hear about like, Antoine. I, they, I don't care about you. I don't care about your lawyer. I don't care about Antoine. <laughs> exactly. And, ho, ho, ho. and they, they just go straight to jail and all these and this has been happening and well. And then these bitches disappear. I was like, so they get brought girl. into this prison where Elizabeth has gone missing, and we've got and, to suspend our disbelief. And then, and we must suspend our disbelief. Yes. Then we meet Maxine. Maxine, who's like, I guess the, the top fabulous. prison guard, the top prison guard, the main hefa, who's known and, for playing lesbian parts. Yeah, Mary Warnoff. I fucking love this actress. She's a journeywoman actress who was around all over the 70s. And like her speciality was Butch Legs. Yeah. We're from Los Angeles. Well, now, girl, you're not in L.A. And you will do better around here to speak when you are spoken to. Got it. So but there's Mary Warren off. And I'm like, word, like this is a little cast on this show. I love I the part where the fat is- sheriff says to her, this is a good catch, Max. And she's like, it's Maxine. I'll try not to bruise her tender skin too hard. You do that, Max. Maxine. Oh, she's rough? Yeah, but I could have, I needed a little bit more overt lesbianism from them, but then they, they, they louse, they de louse the girls. Jane. I, I want to say, gosh, I had, you know, not that I had forgotten, but gosh, they were all so beautiful. Thin. Stunning. And thin. Gorgeous. Stunning. Wow. All yeah. three of them, you know, Kate Done Jackson it. gets slept on a little bit because she was Sabrina the smart one, and they the downplayed her. One. But she Kate was Jackson was flawless, skin. gorgeous, Lovely. flawless. I was looking at that. I was like, oh my god, you know, it's all about Farah, yeah. and, it's, and then all it's about, all about Miss um, Miss uh, Kate, Miss uh, Jacqueline Smith. Yeah, but we'll get into Hakata, like just yeah. flawless. They're all yeah. beautiful. Jacqueline Smith, so perfect that she, so perfect. and this is not shade, looks like a mannequin head. Yeah, like symmetrical bone structure. Yeah, uh, you know, and Farrah had that know hair and that movie star the bucks. Although I will say, Jacqueline stubby legs. Oh, stubby legs. Oh, you mean oh. stubby hairy? No, just not not, not stubby, not stubby. Like, stubby, like just now, oh. like not, not like a Linda Carter who's like a leggy, not stubby like Nick Poulos. Amazonian. Okay, darling, just, just like, yo, just like, girl, you know, like when when a, when a, a person their kneecap. Is like oddly low, Ashy. so, that, so oh. that the top <laughs> of the leg is longer than the bottom part of the yes. leg. You yes. see, and you're like, "Oh, that looks so weird." Your legs yeah. look especially weird. on a woman. Like, get into her. She's got funny legs. Booby. I mean, listen, Charlie's <laughs> Angels is misogynist. But let's not tap into that. So please. yeah, Mary Warnoff, we live. Wait, we, before we oh, get to I Mary. live for stubby leg women. Before <laughs> y'all know, I love them. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but, um, unless they name Antoine. But listen, before we get to before we get to Maxine, right. that very first scene with the angels. Oh no, in? she's not wearing pants. Oh, stubby. She isn't wearing pants. Oh God, are she you isn't wearing... wearing underwear, honey? No, and she's trying to channel no. Farah when she's getting deloused. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna have to <laughs> deloused this video. <laughs> Talk about lousy, <laughs> honey. Lousy. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, booby, yeah, bring it, bring legs. It. Hang on a second. Okay. The very first time that we see the angels in this, get into their footwear because Farah is wearing these like sort of beige, like high Chunky. boots, but Jacqueline oh. is wearing like platform clogs of some kind. Okay. Yeah. Like they're serving you 70s. That is in now. That's I in guess. now. But yeah. oh, I love and, the flare jeans, by the way. And uh, Kate Jackson, if you look, she has a little gold necklace that says Sabrina. So Word. whoever did the costumes, like, I, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. So anyway, okay. So Maxine, go back to Miss Mary Warnoff. Yes. So, you know, the, the they're, they are booked into the prison. It's total bullshit. Like, they're trying to get into that prison, too. Oh, Jacqueline it's Smith not- is like to her, when was the last time you got sprayed? Yeah. 
How long has it been since you've been sprayed? Get cute in here. And you can get hurt. Honey. Like, That's hmm. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so they they take them into the uh into like the shower area, they delouse them, and then they take them into uh the barracks area where they say, get some rest, because tomorrow you're on the chain gang. Mm. And they're picking potatoes. Uh, you skip the scene. Oh, where no, we no. we're introduced to Kim. Oh, we're introduced. Oh. We to see a, a cameo of Lady Kim. Yes, Kim. <laughs> of Lil Kim. Uh, we're introduced to we're introduced to Linda, right? To Linda, who I gagged today. This is so today was the day, and I've seen this episode twenty five times that I realized, oh shit, that bitch is Kim Bassinger. Yeah, that's Kim. Young, 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 like and gorgeous. And like maybe 20, beautiful. maybe less, or younger than maybe 20. Maybe 19. Maybe 19. Maybe 18, 19. Damn her. Yeah. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Just Bef gorgeous. Before they go into the potato fields, though, into the killing fields. Yes. Um, Sabrina gets sassy with the other butch guard named Billy. Yes. Who oh, like, yes. punches her in the ribs. Lovely. Well, then I'll leave you a call, sweet cake. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to be watching you, sweet cakes. Who gives her a, a punch in the kidneys? That's why. Right. So right. That's why oh. she had to lie down. She gagged. Oh, okay. She gagged. So, yeah. yo, they're they're in the big house. So what happened to me? Oh. <laughs> well, listen, we've all spent a little time at the house, back at the island. Club yeah. fed. Yeah. We've all Club been sent fed. to the island. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, And I don't mean strong I Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, so, but I do, do want to say one funny thing. So, so the next day they're going to start on the chain gang and they, 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 they do meet Linda, who is another prisoner and the, the absolutely beautiful Kim Bassinger. And part of the chain gang activities is that they are uh, at, in a potato field and they're picking potatoes, but they're not in a potato field. They're not even in a field where you grow anything. That is not a potato field. It's like a lot of dirt. It's just like a fucking lawn and they've buried some potatoes in the dirt <laughs> and they're faking it and they're like, oh, pick a row. What I think row? it's Aaron it's Spelling's no yard in There's his no new lawn. house. There I was are like, no oh, rows. There are no rows. I was like, this is so weird. But you know, like back then, TV was less sophisticated and I don't think people asked those questions they didn't right. care they didn't, they're like, they didn't care yes like, Sarah Fawcett, you know but <laughs> the whole time i'm like this doesn't make any sense also like they're supposed to be in louisiana but there's mountains in the background yes i'm exactly. like clearly they filmed this in the valley in la somewhere like and they're wearing denim like top to and bottom. how is it that all of these prison ladies have the most glorious hair glory figures i mean they're all you know prison feud food feud Prison food keeps the body thin, but that's I, well, ridiculous. I think they're only eating potatoes, but like to a girl, they are just like waft. Yeah. They have waft. gorgeous, shiny hair. They're all wearing makeup. In the, the lunchroom, it was just like a model, like the backstage of a fashion show. Like yeah. I, I needed a food fight to break out in the lunchroom and it did not happen. A yeah. good food fight. Yeah. And also, we are picking potatoes, yet everybody has a pristine uh, manicure. Yeah. Look at, look at Farrah's nails the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Done. No, so, done, so, done, done, done. And so, not to overthink it, but they're picking potatoes because that's how the prison makes money. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. So the girls. We are know how the prison really makes money. They're, right. So they're sniffing around, trying to find out what happened to Elizabeth. Farah fakes stomach cramps to go to the infirmary. Oh. 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 My, right. Because that's oh. that's apparently her skill. Farah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What happened? I don't know. She was trying to eat her dinner. She just keeled oh. over. I can't oh. say I blame her. The food in here tastes oh. like wind over pig slop. And, and uh, then you're surprised why Saturn 3 wasn't a big giant head either. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's like, oh. So eventually, though, what's really going on is revealed because we meet the warden. Warden Doucheface or whatever her name and is. And I've <laughs> seen her before. Who's the actress yeah. that played the warden? I, I Shay nobody because oh. I don't know her name. I've seen her I before. Think she reminded you of the mom from Leave It to Beaver. She reminded me of the mom. Yes, from for sure. Beaver. She seen, yeah, very much that. Very that. Like that that type. I mean, she was kind of like nondescript, mean lady. Also, uh, strangely, she uh, in one scene she's wearing pearls, but they're outside over the collar, and it looks interesting. Totally looks so weird. But so she says, you know, she says to them like, well, you know, you are, you're smart girls. And uh, blah, blah, blah. You're going to go to this party. And after three parties, you don't have to work in the fields. No mo. No after mo. Three. Mm -hmm. After three. 
Yeah, after three. One benefit is that after three parties, you no longer have to work in the field. Now, go join the others. And what kind of parties are these? Let's get into it. What's really happening here? So the warden is running uh, a cat house. A bordello. No! A bordello. Oh, my God. Okay. The uh, the the woman that, that pays the warden was Mark Singer's mother in V. Oh, work. The TV show V. Oh, work. Love me some Mark Singer. He's yes, gonna, he's gonna you'll when you see her, next. you're gonna be like, "Oh my God!" She she her name is Neva N E V A Patterson. Neva Patterson. Miss Neva, of course, Miss Neva please. Patterson. Yes. Neva, so please <laughs> leave it to Neva. <laughs> oh no! And her so, sister Geneva. Geneva. So they get they get dolled up to go to this party. Yeah, in these so very they were admiring these fancy schmancy dresses. Yeah. They were what I was I'm like, like. I guess fashion sense has changed. No, honey, have they shopped strawberry today? Because that those were so, some five dollar fucking. That was so cereal bomb. No, no, it hasn't. Yeah. Fashion's yeah. changed. No, no, it hasn't. I mean, <laughs> of course they look beautiful because they're right. Charlie's angels. When they were hanging on the rack, it was like, and what? Kim, like, and Kim Basinger's oh, there, ever. and she's yes. nervous and. So clearly what's happening is yeah. like these girls are being hoed out in a yeah. brothel. And, and I, I like the way the uh, the main guard, Maxine, walks in. She's like, put these on. We're going to a party. Right. And like and like 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 any person would know in that second they're going to whore me out. But like the like but the angels are like, huh? what's going on? What? The world's greatest detectives. They're like, what's going to happen at this party? Kim Bassinger's like, hey, girl. girl, or are they girl. just, are they trying to play stupid? I think they're playing stupid. You're going to a party and believe me, it's an invitation you can't refuse. But also like they kind of just go along with it and it's like, whatever. Well, Cause that's where they're going to get the information. And right. Maxine at the party is wearing like, like jeans and a vest and a long side and, ponytail. And a, a, kind of like a Maxine, pants. that's, that's a, the, the Leslie. Yeah. That's <laughs> I mean the. <laughs> Max. Maxine. <laughs> so, um, yeah, go ahead, girl. Go ahead. And this is like, like this. <laughs> I, I will say, so this bordello, and they do say they they have like a little conversation with the warden, one of the uh, one of the guards, about how everybody at the party is either a businessman from the town or providing stuff, supplies to food, prisons, whatever to the prisons. So I think they they say that. So that that's how you that so that's how she's able to keep it under wraps. Right. Everyone there is in on this illegality. Right. There, like no man stumbled in there just because they thought it was a no, regular. They all know what's okay. up. Like Farrah so takes one of these disgusting men into disgusting. a room. He's drunk, he but he's a talker and he's telling her all the tea and is very unconcerned about what happened to that poor girl. Well, like, she's very drunk. He's very drunk. Yeah, but like, yeah. you know, there's no humanity there. Oh, no, he goes, oh, she did now. She's did. If they got it, she did now. She did, girl. Well, she but did, a lot girl. of people feel like that because they know what's happened. Clearly, right. some of the girls come, some of they go, some of them disappear. Yeah. Like, even the warden, who seemed like a nice person, like, is like, you know, she's she evil. The two other guards to kill. The right. three angels. Right. 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 So, yeah, yeah. So the angels, their their cover was sort of blown. I thought it was weird that they used their real names when they got arrested. I thought that, too. I was like, did they change their last names? Because those are the same names that they go by by Charlie. And little known fact, Kelly Garrett, Jacqueline Smith, Kelly Garrett, in that universe is the long lost niece of Edna Garrett of the Eastland Academy in Peekskill. Holy uh, crap. Arena. Gag. Connections. Gag. 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 So their cover is blown. Oh, and, and they also insinuate the sheriff and the bad guys that they killed their connection. The what the the uh, other the the oh, uh, deputy Dan the, the mole the yeah guy, the one good cop and they he gone quiet they for him. good yeah so for good. what happens is like this party's coming to a close. None of the girls have clearly hooked up with anyone, and they find they the 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 main the sheriff info. guy the bad guy uh, finds uh, Farrah Fawcett trying to make a phone call right. because he has put this guy to bed. Uh, I mean, she didn't use her womp womp and put him to bed like I've done to many guys, but right. she, he drank too much and she put him to bed. And so their cover is blown. And so the warden who seems like a nice person, she's like, make them disappear. 
right? Yeah. Put them back so in their like, work clothes like, and dump them where dark. they won't be found. Right. There's also a really beautiful moment where Kelly, uh, Jacqueline Smith, goes to Kim, the Kim, to actually uh, uh, to uh, Linda. She's like, listen, I can't tell you why. I can't tell you how, but I'm your friend. And I'm going to get you out of here. And you believe it, right? And you believe it. Linda, no matter what happens, I'm your friend. I'm going to help you get out of here. Don't worry. Okay. Thanks, Kelly. They're and so she, good. And she does. Fucking she does, man. Yeah. She's like, she's like, I can't even tell you how, but I'm getting you out of here. And you could tell that the Kim Bassinger character is kind of like, oh, honey. She's they like, all say that. none of us are getting out of here. Ain't right. nobody getting out, honey. We are like, half alive. You know, yeah. they don't care about Antoine. All they care about is potatoes. <laughs> so the cover is blown. They're put back in their work clothes and fat sheriff and inbred deputy Yes. Right. Drive them out to some field somewhere to kill them. And right. Sabrina has a great idea. Now, the three of them are shackled up. But at one moment, Sabrina and I guess Kelly, Jacqueline, yep. take their chains and start choking. Let them have it. Shackled all together by the arms. Right. right. Just Plastic. my Plastic. So I can dance. Well, I, think I, that... I, missed that line. I think I missed that line up, actually. Take the shackles <laughs> off my feet so, so I can I dance. Can dance. I just, just want to praise crazy. you. Yeah. I don't care about Antoine. Missing is the crazy. It's the yeah. crazy. Oh, okay. Then, then one more moment. Okay, so they throw the shackles over there because they're, they're taking them out to the desert to kill them. So they throw the shackles over the sheriff and his deputy and strangle them so that the car goes into a ditch. One more piece of narrative logic that I want to point out is do. somebody Kelly, got it. Kelly goes to uh, Farah. She says, Get the guns. Right. And, and she goes, oh, oh, they're sitting on top of them. And so Kate Jackson's like, no, let's just go. What? Right. No, ladies. No. <laughs> and we're professionals. We're, but, we are private detectives. No, get that fucking gun. Do you think that the officers also had the keys to the shackles? Yeah. Yes. So they should have yeah. unshackled themselves. Or how about shackled this? Shackled up the officers. How about with this? And then taking the car. Mama, we it's a TV them. show. How about we kill these two white men? We just <laughs> fucking kill them. Well, because they're killing hookers, they're killing people, and I think bad they, people. Let's just strangle. And them. I think they never get their comeuppance. The or do it, they? Well, the inbred deputy had definitely been assaulting people, assaulting right. these women. Sure. Right, that's what Kim yeah. Bassinger had told me. Right, so disgusting. Sure. Um, I mean, they but do so, get their comeuppance. So they get, you know, they get. But choked girl, out. what if he had a big one? Oh, what if it was like like over eleven inches? I had just and done girth. a rant about moral decay, and you're going to ask that question, and the answer is yes. So, <laughs> learn it. Learn it. Would I munch the and learn it well? Absolutely, for cigarettes and cheese whiz. Honey, shit. Not even not even the cheese whiz. Just give me a cigarette, please. Because I'm going to for a cigarette. I mean, uh, no, I wouldn't do it. No, I wouldn't either. I mean, well. No, he was gross. I wouldn't, I the wouldn't. skinny ones are the ones that make you gag. I, I heard. Listen, I'd rather bite your dick off than suck your dick if you're trying to force me. But if yeah. I want to suck your dick and you happen to be a police officer and you don't want to force me, but you want to let me, then sure. That was some <laughs> 3D chess, girl. That but was you know, 3D like, chess. We were talking about, being talk about suspend your disbelief. Cop dick. Like, if the cop isn't forcing me, then we're just doing it because we want to. Yeah. Well, listen, anything consensual is fine by me, yeah. except except for, you know, a party called Nequad. So mm. yeah. Nequad. Just a Have little side note. Before? Yes. Do you know that back in the day when I partook of certain substances Bad in Bill. the East Village, uh -huh. I went to pick up a sp at the spot and yes. I got pulled over by a cop. And he said, yo, you come here, come here. And I came, went over to him. Did I tell you the story? No. no. I I, and I, I had just bought in a bundle. Just bought in? Oh. Bought in a bundle. Uh -huh. And he said, what do you have in your hands? And I showed him and he said, come here. And he made me sit in the front of the car with him. And we both got high and we both went to the nod work. But and then, I, I won't get too into it. Wait, and I could have done carried with him. Don't but, get into you know, it. Actually, Miss Booba, you did tell me the story because you told me that as you as he let you out of the car. Right. And, and you said, thank you, officer. He said, it's Maxine. Maxine. Ah. <laughs> ah. Work. So the girls get out of the car. Right. Honey, we've all much trade for dollars too. Hello. 
honey, but I got me a job. I got me an education. And I got a man waiting at home for me. God damn it. Going to one. the symphony. We're the prolapse. Prolapsing anyway. at the symphony. <laughs> so I have they, prolapse at the symphony. <laughs> so know. they are. They, honey, your prolapse caused a symphony. <laughs> I hear a symphony. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Plop. <laughs> so they so these three shackle bitches are running through the fields. Ooh. The fat yeah. guy and the deputy come to and give chase and fucking looking sexy somehow. The guns guy? are fired. Like, not the sheriff? sexy, the... like the, 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 the women, the, the angel. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Oh. Kind of looking sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like know, the sheriff with the prolapse. After, after you've been after you've been choked with a shackle, you look sexy. You know <laughs> now, all of a sudden, damn, uh -huh. nothing makes the prolapse come out. So they run <laughs> like some chains around the neck. Get it, honey. Honey, I'll give hunger fist buck a run for his money. Darling, it's bling, darling, it's bling. Google him. Did you say noodle him? I said Google him. Oh well, noodle him after you Google him. So they're That's running, a running, good running. New term, girl. The girl, noodled, he girl, he noodled me. Girl, he noodled me. Lovely. Honey, Lovely. We, we canoodled. Yes. What, Honey, what could that we mean? We canoodled like, with like his cannoli, darling. Auto asphyxiation gone wrong, and all of noodling. a sudden you wake, and the guy that was fat and ugly, and the sheriff becomes hot and attractive. Oh, girl, I was all noodled and shit. He looked good. <laughs> he looked good. I was so noodled. He looked good, bitch. <laughs> Ramen, darling. I just got bamboozled. Shit, I just got bamboozled, darling. With the noodle. I don't know what we're talking about. Anymore. Nancy, the <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, they're yeah. running the cops are coming they're yeah, able they're to steal a truck stop. they're able to steal a not steal no they steal a truck that ironically has potatoes in the back yes a potato truck the cops give chase Barra Fawcett feels her energy she gets onto the back of the truck with Jacqueline Smith they push potatoes off mashed potatoes the cops yeah. are swerving I don't know why they're swerving to avoid these potatoes and a blooper potatoes. Anthony James the skinny motherfucker I mean the skinny guy um is at one point the camera showing them gagging and he's laughing he's right. laughing I'm as laughing they're about the to crash time. like he's totally not in the moment right. in the character where right. he should be yeah. he's not la the character isn't laughing that actor is laughing yeah, yeah. totally yeah. Yeah. you could tell he's or you know maybe he's so inbred the character is laughing because he's psychotic yeah. could be you know, we don't know and somehow you know Somehow, you know, this is going to come to a head. Either this, the cops catch up with the girls and kill them, or somehow a crate of potatoes hits the cop car, makes it careen off the road and explode in a fury. Twice. fire twice. Yes. Right. Like, Yo, right. give me that potato, honey. Yo, no French and fries. Sa Sabrina has the best line. She's like, I guess those potatoes are burnt. They're burnt, honey. They're burnt. She oh, is rotten. Oh, it's rotten. Oh, rotten. Those two were rotten, mm. and now they're all rotten. Honey. <laughs> oh, and then also, there was that moment where Kim, the, Kim, and Jacqueline Smith are—they're—they're they're digging up potatoes, and Kim Bassinger does not know what to do, so she's just holding a potato and she's just kind of stroking it lightly into <laughs> the whole conversation. And I'm like, what is she doing to this? <laughs> you know, maybe she's on the spectrum. No means no, um, honey. No yeah, more potatoes like, has spoken she, up. She, there was no potatoes. Know how to pick a potato? There was no potatoes, darling. So the cop. Okay. The, the cop car the blows dying, up, right? the, they, the sheriff and the deputy, they, the they dead, girl. They, they dead, dead girl. girl. they dead girl. Yeah. And uh, we never but, really find out what happens with Maxine or Billy or no, Warden no, no, no. Neva. They, they, oh, they we do, they, we do. They, they're all the, being on, they're going on trial. The governor says, the governor thanks right. the, the girls, Charlie's Angels, right. and he says they're all going to go on trial. They're all in prison right now. And then the, for the last scene, you find out that the Linda character, the Kim Bassinger character, is now going to become the secretary, secretary. at the Townsend Agency. You How never convenient. see her again. You never see her again, but you assume that she's the secretary now. But I must say, clearly Charlie has a rule that he's only going to hire intensely because he could have hired the yeah. Lindsay that was going to be the governor was going to yeah, uh, well, like you know somebody else, well, a man, you know. You know it's about optics, and let's face it: good-looking people get more access. I don't, you guys probably don't know this, but I'm telling you: good-looking people, we have more access. People trust right. us. Right. We get right. paid more. Um, and, so you're banned from the subway. Anyway, so that is Angels <laughs> in Chains, episode four of season one of the classic series yes. Charlie's Angels. Was Charlie's Angels? Was it? Um, how do we define? Do we define it as a good classic television series or do we define it as kind of campy, a campy mess or mm. like where in the spectrum of a classic television does Charlie's Angels 
actually fall? I think it's classic crime drama. It's only can't yeah. be in retrospect. It wasn't in at retrospect. the time. At and the time, it, ca- it wasn't. Well, it caused an outrage. It, I think, provoked the term jiggle TV. Yep, for sure. I mean, like, Farrah is serving you nipple, like... Down. Yeah. You know that now, fucking Kim Kardashian has a bra in her Skims collection that has standing up super pointy nipples so that you can give that effect whether it's cold whether your nipples uh, well now you know what i want for christmas and so that you can have the nipple through the shirt look oh so, you can get uh, so, gonna, so like imagine like everything old is new again i mean like in the 70s the kartrashians i pay zero they are not on oh my, my radar i pay zero me. interest wow. i wouldn't even speak of them in the same conversation as these glorious legendary beautiful Absolutely. charlie's angels women okay. i agree okay. I, I i think charlie's angels is a classic i don't think it's classic drama right. but it's definitely classic well, and, and i guess we don't have a lot TV. of time because i we i'd love to compare it to the movies with cameron and well we can revisit that. So yes. we are the yeah. press for time. We're about to yes. do our patrons only segment. That's right. Which also, uh, guys, we have restarted the 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 Patreon and yes, the, the merch shop is live again. And you know, this isn't going to be a weekly thing, but you know, we're we're, yeah. we're, sh- we're shaking off the cobwebs, and you can we alive. We we're alive. trying to shake it off. We don't care about Antoine, but we alive. That's true. <laughs> and we barely can... made it past oh, oh, oh. last few years, but now we alive again. I'm checking lists and everything. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you can find us on the socials and all of this will be in the description. And I'm just checking the time and we definitely have to wrap this up. I will say that this was so much fun. I had a kiki. This was so much super fun. And it feels good to be with you guys again doing this. Wait. Down. Yeah, ho, ho, ho. So hit us up in the comments and let us know, guys, what's on your mind. What would you like us to talk about? And we will ignore all of it. This is Shadiamond. This is Miss Matinga. And of course, Boobalina. You've been watching So Auntie Ways. Auntie Ways. Auntie Ways.